Carl and Damon here from Games, Brains and Headbang and Life. GBHBL.com for sure and stay made what into the into a movie. We are sticking in the world of animation here, but we're doing an epic. Uh, a very adult animated. This is not a family film in no way, shape or form. In fact, I would argue this is the most adult they made what into a movie we've done. Yep. And, uh, and bear in mind, I, I put this on with, with my kids and when I realised, I quickly uh, I'm turning this way. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, it is Dante's Inferno, an animated epic from 2010. The adult animated dark fantasy film based on the Dante's Inferno video game that is, of course, loosely based on Dante's Inferno from the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri. Um, of course, so we kind of got to elaborate on that first, really. Uh, of course, the Divine Comedy is a epic poem, as it were, written by Dante Alighieri. Um, split into three segment segments, Hell, Purgatory, and Paradise. Uh, I'm going to show you, basically. This is it. This is Divine Comedy. Here it is. This one includes illustrations, and it is absolutely huge, as you can tell. Wow, and it's it, basically... It's like a Bible, man. Basically, kind of is. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very famous, dealing with... And it's split into three sections, of course. Uh, the one that Don is Inferno is, 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 is based around is Hell. Then you've got Purgatory and Paradise. This is a very difficult read, I'll warn you now. It is written a very, very long time ago. It's not a modern book. So yeah. it is written in a way, as you can imagine, it's split into cantos. Yeah. And it's written in a way to kind of always, you know, that of older speak and stuff like that, alongside images to kind of illustrations to kind of portray the story, as it were. It's an incredible piece of work. That's why I own it. I am fascinated by this. It looks pretty too. I, I love the design too. The, the, the colour of it looks really good. Yeah, really, it is. Yeah. Uh, it is the Divine Comedy. Dante's The Divine Comedy. And of course Dante's Inferno, the 2010 video game, was based off the health section of this. Mm. Uh, the game itself is an action adventure game developed by Visceral Games and published by EA. So the people behind Dead Space. And published by EA. So it's a big deal. Uh, released for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PSP in February 2010. I have played this game to death. I've completed this game. I have played the DLC, Trials of St. Lucia, and the other one. I can't remember what it is. And I'm a big, big fan of this. Uh, it was quite, it's a very cool game. I do urge everyone to, to do check it out. Yeah. Uh, Got any more? Now I haven't seen the film. Do you have any more interest in playing the game? No. Oh. And and the, 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 and the reason why and, and it, it, again it's probably going going back to my old past is that I know uh, I believe a lot of the achievements are unattainable. No, not not a lot. A few are unattainable. Yeah, exactly. So and that's a DLC. Me, and it, it puts me off. But yeah, it's so DLC. I, I, I have, You're missing out on one of the a great game here for a I big have, DLC. I, I mean, I, I, I could play it on my second account just just for the fun of it. But I have I, I have a, a completion thing, man, and it, and it. it, it still drives me insane. I, I, I like to have completed games. But you, you is every so everything in the game card is complete. Not yet. I, I, I plan to. I plan to. You, you, you won't. You won't. You won't. I'll, I'll, you, I'll the, do my the best. Sooner, the sooner you have a game that is impossible for you to complete because servers close down or something like that, the better for you. Mm. Because that, that's a mindset you need to get out of. It is, it, oh, oh, of course. I've, I've, you, I've, yeah, I, get, I understand like the fact that there's a whole DLC, Trials of St. Lucia, um, unavailable to you effectively. At least I... The on, no, the online is. You might be able to do the single player one. So yeah, I, I, think, I think it's the online, the online thing. Um, kind of thing. No, it's closed down. I think it, it, the servers it, it, are closed yeah, down. It's yeah, not about yeah, being that. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. It's a shame, but there you go. The, the the game was successful. It sold over a million copies. It spawned a comic book miniseries and an animated movie. Dante's Inferno, an animated epic. Uh, interestingly, a sequel and more spin-off entered in development, but were both cancelled. This is the one and the only thing that exists. I haven't played the game. And having watched this movie, I must say it is a very, very accurate retelling of the game. Obviously, you know, when segments missed out and aiming to be more story based because yeah, I only use a movie and not a video game. For the most part, the game plays out like it does in the movie. You are going through the circles of hell, finding uh, about Dante's sins and the things he did, his past, and on this epic mission to rescue the soul of your beloved, basically. Yeah. Absolutely. Voices, voices. So this is an animated uh, movie incredible animation yeah. really imaginative stuff here Definitely. but voices there are a lot of familiar names here which is very very cool we begin with Graham McTavish played, playing Dante doing the voice of Dante of course now currently we're covering him in the world well not anymore actually for the time being yeah, yeah, no for break. the time being unfortunately well no I mean because of what happened at the end of season 2 oh, oh yeah oh, he yeah, plays yeah, Dracula yeah. he voices <laughs> Dracula in Castlevania for the time being he said that indeed 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 uh, Vanessa Branch Beatrice we have Steve Blum, Lucifer, uh, Peter Jessup, Virgil, 
Mark Hamill, the great Mark Hamill as Alligator Hero, uh, Dante's father. Victor Tennant, Bella. Bart McCarthy as Filippo Argenti. Kevin Michael Richardson as King Minos and Flagius. And Tom Tate as Francesc Francesco. Francesco. Mm. There are a few others, but these are the major players, and some of them are even more minor than these. I always like when, when, when they can get when they can get like a big cast, a big uh, famous cast too. You know, I think it's a pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it shows that obviously it must be a good. Film and that, uh, or, or it must appeal to, to, to the. Or they were willing, to, yeah, they were willing to put a bit of money into it. And yeah, like, we yeah. want to make this a big deal. Yeah. And it does feel like we're about to watch something quite epic with that opening credit crawl. You get the impression, like, okay, you, when you're calling it an animated epic, you kind of <laughs> have to live up to that. Uh, we begin with Canto One, uh, and, which is directly from the actual, of course, uh, piece. At a midpoint on the journey of life, I found myself in a dark forest, for the clear path was lost. Basically, we begin with Dante heading home, returning from the Third Crusade, which took place between 1189 and 1192. Of course, two crusades, uh, what was a holy wars yep. uh, in Jerusalem, Middle East, and stuff like that. So it's real-life-based yep. stuff. He's concerned during his trip that he's being followed by an unknown figure. And as he recants his journey, he's attacked by some beasts, but fears for his beloved Beatrice, he gets a vibe, so races off yeah, whole. Yeah. Uh, Graham McTavish's voice, I love it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you could listen to him just tell this story mm. and it'd be fine. We flash back to his life with Beatrice, him asking her to marry, but her concern that he would die in the crusade. She's concerned about marrying him and if he dies in the crusades, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, arriving home, he finds his servant slain, his father dead, and his beloved fiance Beatrice dying of a stab wound to the stomach. If you want to know about violence and how gory this oh, yeah. this film is, this will show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, yeah, this, this, yeah. this will show you. A lot of blood. In <laughs> yes, and guts. Mm -hmm. Like his father's got like a stomach ripped open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he got some uh, dagger in his eye. Yeah, <laughs> dagger in the eye. Yeah. As she speaks on her deathbed, describing a stranger who attacked the home, the figure that Dante thought was following him. So you kind of like, but it seemed like a demonic figure. So you kind of thinking is that related? She asked if Dante betrayed her, e.g., cheated on her. Uh, during his time away and he declares that he didn't. Beatrice now dies and Dante is heartbroken. And he witnesses her spirit leaving her body and heading towards the kingdom of heaven. Mm. Is this a good time to sort of say to you folks, if you don't know, this is a very religious, this is about religion. Yeah, definitely. It is yeah. about God, it's about devil, mm. it's about the war between, uh, it's about sin, it's yeah. about all these elements. So like, do bear that in mind. And it has got messages it does want you and there's certain things particularly from lucifer yeah definitely that yeah. you should i think are impactful mm -hmm. particularly about humanity and how at the end when he talks about introducing sin and it's like well i i introduced that but you lot fucking yeah. went eight <laughs> shit with it and it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I say, particularly oh, when we get flash forwards of mm -hmm. uh some future crimes and you yeah. say certain symbols and when, wars when, when, that when, would when come I was, watching, I was listening to the, the messages are, are are there yeah they're thick yeah, yeah, yeah they are thick Lucifer arrives though and takes Beatrice, seemingly promised her soul if Dante didn't keep his promise of betrayal. This is a bit confusing at first. He's yeah. like, why is Lucifer coming? You're thinking, oh, did him and God make a bet? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It'll be explained a little bit later yeah. on. Dante gives chase as Lucifer mocks him and sends denions of hell after him. And she's taken through the gates of hell as Dante fights off some monsters. As he pounds on the gates, he's grabbed by snake-like arms that strip him and sue images of... His experiences, yeah. his life onto his flesh, it is very brutal. Yeah, yeah, uh, the, 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 the pain, you can, you can see the, the, the Yeah, and skin, it's like yeah. moving images, but it's done in the same, the cross of the Templar cross yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. I mean, because of course, as well, bear in mind for your Assassin's Creed lies, well, he's a Templar. I, 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 I said the exact name, he's a, he's a fucking Templar. He's a Templar, yeah. 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 Once finished, Dante questions why God would do this to him. But his question is answered by the spirit known as Virgil. Mm. Virgil questions his faith as Dante begs God to save Beatrice over him and gets the strength to open the gate. So, eh, is God still on his side? Yeah, yeah. Listen, obviously I have a lot more knowledge going into this than you did. At this point, did you wonder about Dante's sins? Did you think, okay... If God has abandoned him yep. and Beatrice's soul has been taken, what did he do? Yes, yeah, so I, I, I was thinking that he, he's clearly must have either fallen orders, killed people, he shouldn't have done, maybe he has been unfaithful, that sort of thing. That, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Did you expect the level of sinning that has come no. from Dante? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, we'll get to that. Yeah. And what I love as well is what this film does is it now breaks it down into almost chapters mm. with each circle of hell. We begin with the arrival first, though, as Dante wakes to the screams of the damned. 
I love this. Yeah. I love this. This is what I love. I love the imagery this creates. I love seeing what they're trying to do. Because I love as well, for the animation style, is they made it they made it almost dreamlike. Because mm. I imagine what it'd be like. Well, a waking I mean, nightmare. We've talked about uh, animation a lot from, from Castlevania to Far Behind the Day to this. You know, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. You know? It is really well designed. Yeah, this is incredible. Yeah. yeah. Virgil appears and reveals that Beatrice made a deal with the devil. Keep She asked the devil to keep Dante safe. And as long as he stayed true to her, they'd be fine. If not, Lucifer would have a soul. So there's your first clue that something definitely didn't, yeah. Dante certainly didn't behave himself. Dante continues to insist on it. He didn't betray her. But there's no fool of Virgil. Virgil's like, listen, mate, you can lie to yourself. You can lie to yourself. I can't lie to the one. I should note here, 10 minutes in, right? And we've seen violence and we've seen gore, but you know what we've seen a lot of as well? Fucking nudity. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is a very nude film, yep. <laughs> you know? Uh, Dante asks Virgil to lead him through the Inferno, and Virgil agrees to guide him through hell. That is the same in the game. Yeah. I, 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 okay. Virgil, yeah, Virgil is your, like, your spirit guide. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 Cool. They head to Sean, as Virgil explains the nine circles of hell. First up, it's Limbo. Sharon is a demonic living fairy that takes souls. And I love that Virgil explains here that basically, as more and more souls became damned, as humanity became more and more fucked mm. up, uh, Sharon had to adapt. Yep. He couldn't be a robot anymore because there's too many souls to throw. So he's like an yeah. infernal machine now. <laughs> it's like, that's really fucked up. Show yeah. the, 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 the mass sinners, man. And through flashbacks, we see how the church has failed and that sin has come in different forms. Mm. Now, for Castlevania addicts like we currently are, there's a real similarity between yeah. the church believing they can absolve sin and the church being as sinful as yeah, the best yeah. of them. <laughs> it's quite there as well. Yeah, definitely. Absolution does not come this easy. And we see that Dante was charged with looking after Beatrice's young brother in the Crusades. Sharon gets some demons to attack Dante as basically he's not going to ferry Dante because there no living being is allowed to enter hell. Yep. But Dante is like, I'm fucking going in, mate. You ain't stopping me. <laughs> and attacks, uh, killing the demons and then killing Sharon, steering the boat after that into the first circle of limbo. Like that. Like that. Stop. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's an epic, it's an epic boss battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The spirit of Beatrice in the lowest level appears to be alone, but is taunted by visions of Dante and slaughtering and murdering people. Lucer offers her pleasures, but she refuses. She shows her the pain and suffering he can cause, sets her spirit aflame before restoring her to prove a point. I did, I did like Lucifer's behaviour yes. towards Beatrice here. Yeah, There's a later one where he just rips her limbs off yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. It's nasty stuff. You should know as well, Lucifer, and this is important to the ending. I don't know if you got this, uh, did got this early on, but basically Lucifer appears almost like smoke. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not like a form. Yeah, it's like a corporeal form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a re at the end, it explains why mm. that is the case. Mm -hmm. It's because Lucifer himself is trapped within hell. I, I, I must have missed that, though. The very end of it. Well, I must have missed that, by then. What do you mean? When Lucifer's physical form wakes up. Oh, okay, 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 yep. Yeah. Like, did you not watch the end of it? I don't think I said it. Alright, stop for a second. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the film, when, when, when he's in the ice lowest level and it's all icy, his physical form, he finds Lucifer's physical form and wakes up and wakes Lucifer up. That appeal wasn't on my version, I watched. What did you always end then? I don't recognise that bit. Where did yours end though? It ended with, literally, I mean, the ending of my one was weird. It literally ended with Dante walking into into like a door and then it just ended. Into a door. Yeah. I mean, it sounds to me like because I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I, I read that too. I, I read that bit. So he, he finds Lucifer's physical form yeah. and fights Lucifer. Yeah. But yeah, ends up yeah. having to ask God for forgiveness. For forgiveness, yeah. And then, and then, and then he, in, in the first one I watched, he, he walked through a door and then it's, it's my black. He goes, in the, he goes in the purgatory. Yeah, and then it's my black. There's a little section afterwards, that is pretty much it. How yeah. do you, you, you're saying you don't remember the entire ending where he fights Lucifer, Lucifer's physical form? I saw the fight. I'm well confused now. Yeah, I'm confused too. No, so, so I, 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 I definitely, he, 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 he had to fight, I, I saw that. Um, I didn't see a bit about him waking up though, unless I just missed that bit. Well, there's only like an extra minute at the end where he goes through purgatory and then talks about finding Beatrice in purgatory 
and that's it. And then like you get a last scene yeah. where like a snake. I must have. Uh, I, I, I must have switched off for like for, 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 for like bloody uh, for thirty seconds ago because because I, I, I remember I remember the whole fight. Oh, with... oh, oh, I have to ask: Are you? Are you? Are, are you? I know you like to play and watch them at the same time. Yeah. Are you paying enough attention? Because you don't even remember the ending. I mean, I, 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 I was playing the game at the time, and obviously, 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 I, I had three kids too, obviously, at, at the same time. But I, I said, I, 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 don't, I, 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 I don't remember that bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It, well, we, we can still talk it through. Um, we can still talk it through. It just you really threw me off there, like you hadn't even seen the last twenty minutes of the film. No, no, because no, because because I, I know you're talking about about obviously he's he's in in the, the spunk form, and obviously I, I know he awakes, and I, and I don't and I don't fight him at the end, but I didn't know about the the fact that he was trapped in hell. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So right, I understand that you may not fully like. I, that, my question was, do you, yeah, do you grasp that concept? Because uh, and that's it. Yeah, I, I, but I, I, we I, went from that to you basically describing not, like you didn't know the no, ending. No, so I, I, I didn't realize that Lucifer's form or soul was trapped in hell. Right, we can we, we can we can build on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can build on that. But um, yeah, you really threw me off the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, we, 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 well, way off the, 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 the. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. But it's fine. At least we established what what, what was going on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Start focusing on these though properly. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I get you want to play a game, but like if you're not remembering, when did you do this? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday, and I had had to remind you about the entire end of the film. You're not paying enough attention. Yeah. Jesus. Um, all right. Um. Right. Well, we'll come back in. We'll come back in. Okay, but yeah, so like, no. Okay, but that will be explained a little bit as it goes on in yep. regards to the physical state and stuff like that. We begin with circle one. It is limbo. Virgil tells Dante about who he is and they talk about where they are. No sin, but no faith, basically, is what um, limbo is. Yep. You didn't sin necessarily, but you had no faith either. And a good example of that is unbaptized babies. Yeah. Yeah, that's a part of the actual game. Yeah. Uh, we now learn that Beatrice was pregnant with Dante's child when he was away, but he didn't. But she didn't know how to tell him. One night she miscarried, something Dante now learns in Limbo. Uh, but it's about to get horrible. He's now attacked by demonic children, which is a part from the game. He and Virgil escape into a large building where they find a collection of souls, great rulers, philosophers, philosophers and thinkers. Those about faith. I love this. I thought it was so clever mm. because philosophers would question faith. People that question stuff like would, thinkers yeah, yeah, and they, stuff like that. They, they, Great rulers as well because they would think of themselves as gods. Yep. It's where you see Saladin basically as well, uh, the Turkish um, prince, king, general, whatever he was. Do you know that, that Saladin is, is, is actually um, a, an Assassin's Creed? Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a historical act. We've seen it. It was a real, real person. Yep. Dante comes across some of his enemies during the Crusades, causing him to flash back to some of the sins he committed then, which, you know, is, it's war. Yeah. So there's a lot of murder and death and slaughter. Do you move onwards, arriving in front of King Minos? His role in hell, basically, is to send condemned souls to their sins corresponding circle of hell. So very organised. Yeah, yeah. Hilariously organised. <laughs> uh, King Minos refuses to let Dante pass, so they fight, with Dante destroying the monster. The boss, I guess. Boss, yeah, 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 yeah. There's always a boss at the end of each circle. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's time to go further down as Dante remarks that if he can kill demons, he can probably kill Lucifer. Mm. Or <laughs> uh, uh, lust. The next circle. The second circle is, sto is stormy carnal torment. Dante is seen of hi some of history's legendary lovers caught up in it. Very cool. Believing he sees Beatrice, Dante gives chase and enters a female harem of women who try to seduce him. He rejects them so they transform into extremely adult monsters yep. with tentacles coming out of areas that your children shouldn't be watching. Nope. And you know what? It's 100% accurate to the game. That is oh, literally wow. what happens in the game. I was still shocked when it happened in the game. So I, 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 obviously, I've got a knowledge of the game. I, I, I wish I had a, cause I watched like a let's play through the game before I watched the oh, game. Okay, all yeah, right, yeah. yeah. I, I, might, I might have to go do it. Yeah, to put it, it on yeah. and see, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but Dante does slaughter them. It seems as though Dante has convinced himself he wasn't unfaithful, so Lucifer reminds him what he did. Dante is disgusted, and we see, Dante is disgusted of the prisoners, he calls them heretics, uh, and he's annoyed that they have to, they have to keep them alive yeah. and look after them. Goes out the window, though, when he gets an offer from a female prisoner. Even though he's told it is a sin, he declares himself obs already absolved, yeah. so it can't be a sin. And it's like, oh, you arrogant, I know. <laughs> arrogant prick. I know, one thing the game did well, and one this film does well as well, is... Donny is a sinner. He is not a well, good no, man. No, no, he is not a good no. man. I said it's pr pretty obvious as you as you work that for, even though like the first twenty minutes, so you yeah, can, we watch that. Yeah, well, you know, and like temptation is temptation. I can understand that, but there's more. Yeah. There's a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, forced to face that Donny tries to make excuses. 
Trigon is like, Don A and begs forgiveness. Upon hearing this, Breedress blames Lucifer, but he points out they have free will. And it's like, oh, that's a burn! Uh, that is the sickest bird ever! Hits. He's like, God gave him free will. Yep. I'm not having to do sin, but they still choose yeah, to do choice. it. Yep. And it's like, that is it. Drop the mic. Do you know what I mean? Boom, yeah. exactly. <laughs> So Beatrice begins to lose faith in Dante, seeing a future based around atrocities and war. I'm not going to name some of them, but things that happened uh, relevant to us all at this point. Yeah. And uh, I love this line. I wrote so much I wrote it down. Earth is another form of hell and men are its demons. I was like, Lucifer's yeah, it's the it's finest. Good line. It's good line. <laughs> Gluttony. Yeah. The third circle of hell begins with Dante facing the truth. Virgil suggests that maybe it's not just Beatrice's soul he is there to save. Can he save his own? The pair arrive in front of Cerberus, where men and women who have lived their lives in gluttony are devoured by the great hound of hell. Virgil tells Dante the only way to the next circle is from within the beast, so Dante allows himself to be eaten. Inside, he meets Kiako, a man from his village who confesses to gluttony, and not wanting to see him suffer, Dante blesses him with his cross and seems to free his soul. Why is this important? It's a major aspect of the game. Freeing souls. Okay. It causes Lucifer to arrive, though, pissed that Dante released a soul. Basically, they ain't your souls no, to release, no, mate. Uh, before he reminds Dante about his own gluttonous father. Lucifer now reveals that Dante's father is in hell. Uh, and Dante attacks and destroys the Hound's heart to escape, basically. Moving to the next circle, which is greed. So, uh, obviously, you said, obviously, um, uh, gluttony, obviously, you do release souls in the game. So, obviously, I presume that sort of would be, like, a achievement-based wise. Uh, to do with... I'm not entirely shocked. Uh, uh, it's uh, been yeah, a long, yeah, long time. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. yeah. Probably something like that. Yeah. Uh, I know it's about levelling up and stuff like that. In the fourth circle, greed. Dante sees that those who reside drown in gold or in slaughtered in infernal machines. I really liked how greed is portrayed on the screen yes. here. Yeah. Uh, the damned souls remind him of his father, who was also a greedy man. He remembers how his father would get when he thought his wife or son was stealing from him. Yes, he was a bad man. Yes. It shows that Dante, though, came from violence. So violence is all he's ever known. So to add a layer of sympathy to him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like he's a child of violence. Yep. He's only ever known it. His mother died from a fever a, a few years later as well. Dante is now confronted by his demonic father. They get into it. Apparently Lucifer offered his father years of torture free, years basically, and gold, which Dante points out. Is, how are you going to spend that on? <laughs> all that he has to do is kill Dante. Yeah. Discussed by the man they fight, Dante eventually wins, kicking his father into a vat of boiling gold. And here Dante momentarily gives up, accuses Virgil of being an enemy, but does come to his senses fairly yes, quickly yeah. and like, you know what, I apologise, you know, and that kind of thing. It's to kind of show he's being ground down by the experience. So is, is your father a Boston in the game too, is he? Uh, I actually think? can't remember. Mm. I presume so. Yeah, I presume yeah, so, yeah, but yeah. I can't quite remember. Mm. Beatrice prays for absolution. She seems to get it. But it's just Lucifer, Lucifer being a dick. I was like, that is, he is a knob. It, 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 it's what he does. He, he, he tortures her, Yeah, he does. Yeah. He does. He torments and tortures her, ripping off her limbs here and declaring that she is to be his bride. He wants to marry her. So it's that. Uh, you might think that's really weird. Thankfully, this and the game will offer this up as a uh, great explanation yeah, as to yeah. why this even, he even wants this to happen. Because yeah. you're like, why does he want to marry? And all? You know, it just feels a bit forced. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it, there is a good point to it. Anger. In the fifth circle, Dante is immediately attacked by limbs and he remembers the experience of trying to deal with prisoners as they starved. Mm. So they had a lot of prisoners after taking over Jerusalem and were struggling to feed them and he really didn't like the fact that he had to look after heretics as he saw them. He argued with Be Beatrice's brother over keeping the heretics alive and it is suggested here that he might have attacked and killed prisoners. Yeah. We don't see it. They would have to cross the river Styx where the angry damned suffer. This is the river Styx part of hell. Crazy place that uh, old uh, Dante came up with, right? Indeed. Yes. But, uh, I, I, I did gather that he, mur he murdered prisoners. He murdered yeah, it's yeah, yeah, certainly yeah. implied yeah. here. As they cross, they're tormented by damned souls, arriving at the city of Dis. Arriving at the hell city, Dante sees Lucifer within, announcing to the city's damned souls his intent to marry Beatrice. Dante is unable to catch up with Lucifer and Beatrice, but pursues them into the tombs, which also happens to be the sixth circle, heresy. Here, heretics burn in eternal fire and are tortured. Dante meets and kills Farin Farinata, a demon that in life is was Dante's rival. They don't explain um, 
what's to call it, what they mean by rival, but I can presume it was a rival in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. For Beatrice's hand. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Lucifer tells Beatrice that he wants a soul because she has a pure soul and he plans to use it to birth his children. Okay then. En route to the seventh circle, Dante has to fight the guard, the Minotaur, but it's an easy kill thanks to the help from Virgil. Mm -hmm. Virgil gets a little involved. Yeah, I felt like this part was a little rushed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They didn't really just wanted to get it out of the way. Yeah, because I, 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 I mean, obviously, um, the other circles, they, they've, they've had a lot of time in there. This one was just a flash. It was like, it was like five, ten minutes. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing really no, there. No, no. And the boss of the Minotaur is not that inspired mm -hmm. either. Uh, violence. Here, Dante finds an immense lake of boiling blood, but Virgil calls on help. Uh, here, the damned suffer for the blood they spilled in life. I really like that description because yeah. ultimately, every time we enter a circle, we have Virgil kind of explaining it. Yeah. I realize as a watch, that's not that great of a thing to kind of watch where you just kind of get an explanation yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. talking, a lot of talking, a lot of referencing stuff and history and things like that. Is that what it's like in the game? You said obviously, obviously Virgil's all... I don't know if it's quite like that in yeah, the yeah. game. Like, um, is, is he walking along with you in the game? Or is yeah, it, or is nobody appears and disappears oh, and stuff okay, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dante enters the wood of suicides. Dante, hearing a familiar cry, finds his mother growing from a sapling. Why is she here? Didn't she die of a fever? The truth is learned, his father lied, she committed suicide from depression, basically, being abused and beaten by her husband. She couldn't carry on. Yep. Pretty, lovely stuff. Suicide, suicide's gonna help. Yeah, yeah, of course, in religion that is how it is. Yep. It's too much to take for Dante and he's overwhelmed. His mother tells him that he is not damned, though, and that he can be absolved, and Dante uses his cross to free her. It's a nice moment. Yep, yep. Dante and Virgil now travel through the abominable sadness. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah. where people committed violence against God and you might be like well what does that mean and it's do you know what it is and it's explained brilliantly because we see how Dante committed violence against God he slaughtered prisoners but he did it because they were heretics he believed he was doing it in the name of God yep. and that's it you commit crimes under the belief you're doing it in the name of God. God don't want that. And that's obviously a big, a big thing in religion, isn't it? Man? It's a huge, yeah, it's I mean, massive, it's, but it's, it's been, massive. the Crusades are real. Yeah, yeah, well, Holy yeah. wars are real. Mm -hmm. They happen even, I think people do things today and now, yeah, in yeah, other yeah, religions yeah. in the name of gods. Oh, we, 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 we've covered a lot in Castlevania. Yeah, yeah, it's, so, it's, yeah, I mean, it's incredible depth stuff in yeah, yeah. Uh, look at religion, you know. I'd love to get a perspective of someone who perhaps would be willing to watch this, who was a heavy Christian mm. and, uh, you know I mean, and, what they feel about it. Yes, yeah. Don't he shot to see the Crusaders here? Because he's like, why are they here? Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be here. And he's then confronted by Beatrice's brother. There is no such thing as a holy war. All life is sacred in the eyes of God. Get that through your head. And Don't is forced to fight the damn soul and kill him. Don't he does try to free his spirit though, but Lucy interrupts him basically saying, hey, nope, yep. none of that, mate. That You've been freeing too many. And basically urges Donnie on, kind of convinces him yeah. to keep coming, yeah, keep following, keep yeah. coming, that yeah. kind of thing, you know. I really like this segment. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a really strong point about Holy War, uh, about the crimes Dante committed and things like that. Still not done with him, though. No, no, no. no. Fraud. The Eighth Circle, where the three great rivers of hell unite. Do you love that as well? Yeah. This is as far as Virgil goes, so Dante has to go alone. Mm. As Dante moves forward, he begins to reflect upon his own sins. And he realises, oh. and in an amazing moment that I've forgotten... He realises the man who attacked his home was the husband of the woman prisoner he slept with. The man driven mad by what Dante mm -hmm. basically forced his wife to do. And basically, it's Dante realising his sins cost him so much and that he's probably to blame for a lot of this. Well, he is to blame. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. I mean, literally, yeah. A series of unfortunate events. Mm -hmm. Having realised that Dante did betray her, Breitus and Lucifer's wedding is going ahead. I hope it's gone. Dante tries to fight through demons to get to her, but he's too late and the union is complete and she becomes a demon. Beatrice attacks Dante, forcing him to look into the ninth circle, which is treachery, where he sees his greatest sin of all, allowing her brother to take the blame for his slaughter of the heretic prisoners. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, Dante! I, 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 when I was watching it, I, said, I, 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 I actually thought he might have killed him. I didn't think he'd done that, but then when I saw it, I was like, wow. Yep. Wow. And I, I, that, that, that's, what a dick. He was <laughs> bad. And, I, and her brother was hanged for his non crimes. And I was like, Don is a bad I, dude, I, I, man. He's, he, he's a devil himself, mate. He's a devil himself. He's done some bad yeah, shit. Yeah. Overwhelmed with grief, he gives Beatrice her cross and pleads with her to accept the love of God. He wants to free her, and that's it. So basically, at this point, he's given up on any absolution for himself. Mm. 
And that's an important step in his redemption, yeah, yeah. if you want. Yeah. Seeing the cross, she accepts gold back into her heart and forgives Dante. An angel arrives to take Beatrice to heaven as Virgil tells Dante, you can't leave, mate. It's not your time. You have to face the king of traitors, Lucifer. And Beatrice promises that they'll be together one day. Mm. And I did like that. It's a separation. And Dante accepts the separation. Yep. It's like, okay, I've resolved her soul. She's accepted God into her life again. Uh, she forgives him. Yep. Um, but now I'm going to he hasn't accepted, deal with myself. He hasn't accepted himself yet. I'm he has to deal with his he, own he, he one. Has, he has to yeah. basically get himself back into the light of God. Mm -hmm. So Dante heads down to face Lucifer and we're in treachery. As he falls, Dante's surprised to find the centre of hell. Frosty. Mm. Really cool touch. Mm. But I love the way they describe it. Why? It's the furthest place away from the divine light of God. It's like, that's a such... So many lines of dialogue are so yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. A damned soul tells Dante where to go find Lucifer, but reminds him that this is a place of treachery. And like, she gives him all the clues. She's like, I could be lying, though. I'm a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you dick. <laughs> um, Dante wanders the icy depths for some time, but eventually finds his way to Lucifer, waking up the beast. He cuts all these chains. And basically, it's revealed that that's kind of what Lucifer wanted. Um... She was bait. It's revealed as Dante tries to destroy Lucifer first. He thinks he kills him, but all it does is re he just rebirths. Yeah, so he, there he, is he, no he, killing he, Lucifer. He gives his cage, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and basically, it's not possible to stop Lucifer. Uh, revealing that Beatrice was bait, he wanted Dante to come to release his physical self. The smoky monster we've been seeing throughout the thing yeah. is this corporeal spiritual form. He needed someone to come and release him from his cage. Uh, Lucifer reveals that he plans, now he's free, to go into purgatory, which lies behind him. Yep. Take the souls there, and then head back to heaven to cause some real bother. Because we obviously do reference here the fact that Lucifer is, himself, a fallen angel. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Basically, he wants to go home and see Dad, yeah. and uh, cause some bother. And Don is like, I am fucked this one up again. No, I, I am not, <laughs> I am having a bad day, guys. A bad oh. day. In a lot of trouble and unable to beat Lucifer, Dante begs for divine forgiveness, forsaking all his desires, pure repentance, mm. basically. And God finally answers. Yeah. This obviously believable and pure repentance is enough for God to answer. Given Dante the power to hold Lucifer, a bright light emanated from his cross and refreezing Lucifer in place. Yep. I really liked it. I thought it was a powerful yep. ending. Yep. Do you know what I was annoyed about? Uh, one of my favourite memories of playing Dante's Inferno was uh, as Lucifer's dong. They covered up Lucifer in this. They put pants on him. In the game, nope. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. It's, an adult, it's an adult game. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. Lucifer's hanging dong, man. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, with Lucifer defeated, Dante dives into the chasm that leads through the earth to purgatory. And there he sets out to find Beatrice under the promise of God's forgiveness tearing off his imprinted sins the cross that he holds ripping it off his chest neither completely living nor completely dead he carries on and the last shot of the film being the fabric Dante tore off transforming into a serpent and us hearing Lucifer's laugh didn't really get that didn't really get the implication of that what they mean by that well, 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 like I'm Lucifer not, was now in purgatory I presume like, maybe a second one but obviously as you said it did nothing else happened did it so. like Lucifer had got into purgatory without, or it was just the fact that Lucifer's spirit because we don't need Lucifer's spirit because the physical state isn't there mm. I guess it's just to apply that Lucifer's always around he's still a serpent I mean uh, my, my biggest regret after watching this film is obviously listening to you talking for is the fact that I didn't know how, how accurate it was in the game yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's very, very accurate, accurate. So, so obviously it, it makes me want to you want to want to play it. You just want to play it, and and obviously to experience to, it to, to, to match the scenes, the yeah. scenes. You know, so 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 that that's something that I will have to do. I mean, maybe not on my main account, but it's something that I, 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 I've seen it. I've seen it many times. This game, super I've seen cheap, it. yeah, because yeah, it's it. such an old game. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at this from two perspectives. Let's do you first. Your perspective is you just watch this film. You know, it's based around some proverbs and stories yeah, around yeah. hell and heaven and all the nine circles of hell and all of that. As a movie. What did you think? Did you enjoy it? As a, a, a as an animated movie, I I, 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 I said it before we start from that. I, I, I thought that this was a good film. Mm -hmm. You know, said so, so obviously uh, we watched a lot, of, a lot of anime anime recently. You know, you know, Castlevania to this and the the graphics is is, is so well done. You know, the voice the voice work again is really done. Yeah, it's well done. Incredible. And I think the story the story is a very, very obviously it's close to history too. You know, obviously um, 
Yeah, it's a, it's a very good story. Well, it, it, the title of an animated epic uh, is is true. It is a very epic film. I think it's very, very good as well. I really enjoy the animation. I love the voices. I love the story that's being told. I love how they try their best to fill in as much detail as possible without ever descending into boring aspects or being over the top. But I yeah. do think it has problems. Mm. I do think as a film, uh, if you were to watch it without any knowledge of the game, you might just feel it's so segmented. Yeah. Because you've uh, segmented and then rushed at times and then dragged out at others. Mm -hmm. And that it might just feel like a, a, a load of violent scenes thrown at you. Yeah. Mixed in with just constant talking about Virgil as you get an explanation for everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I guess they needed it because it would be hard for you to picture a lot of it in your own head without having some form of explanation. There's yeah, some yeah, great course, dialogue yeah. and stuff like that. But I completely understand that. I think it is one of those video game movie adaptions that needs needs the accompaniment of the game. I do actually think it needs that. Yeah. I think it's a great reflection and certainly one of my favourite animated examples knowing the game well and enjoying it and all of that. But I also understand that if you didn't know the game in the slightest, didn't know much about this, mm. uh, you might be a bit like... Uh... I think it's, it's, it's something that, for me personally, that if I watched it again, I would have more enjoyment now watching right, it. Right, second we watch. Because the fact that I have know that it's based on a, a, bi a, a, a potential, potential Bible, and obviously it's so close-knit to the game. But I think I would have to play the game first, or, or watch a let's play of it. Yeah. And then, and then I could go back and go, okay, and I can watch the, 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 the movie now and understand more about it. It is a rare one. It's a rare one for this series that um, we are so opposite sides here, literally yeah, yeah. sitting in this couch. I know the game extremely well, mm. uh, so, but you don't know the game at no, all. No, no. It's very rare we've actually had that experience. Um, so it's certainly coming from two different angles. But I do think it's well worth checking out because visually it's very impressive. Mm. Voice acting is great it tells a good story beginning end with some really really clever messaging about religion about faith about in both positive and negative lights as well about yeah. the importance of having faith and how it can absorb you and help you and help people but yeah. also the negative sides of just blindly believing in faith and aspects like that it creates a wonderful image of, of hell and the experience of what that could be like yeah. and stuff like that so there's a lot to enjoy so i do think it's well worth a watch it is a long one. It's nearly 90 minutes long, so there is that. So it is a proper full feature-length movie as well. It's dark and deep too, man. It's proper. It's, I mean, Dante's sins are unbelievable. Yeah, it's very dark. It's very bloody, very gory, yeah. and it's also very sexualised. Yeah, not there one is the that. Not, not one for the kids. No, no, it no. is not a family film at definitely, all. Definitely 18. Yeah, absolutely. That's Dante's Inferno, an animated epic. Our thoughts on it. What do you reckon? You share them? You know what to do. Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at GBHBL.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.